Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday to you. This Tuesday, we are going to go fall thrifting once again. I've kind of been inspired by not only the spike in fall-like clothing sales, but also the weather. So it is currently, well, currently, it's only like 49 degrees because it's early in the morning, but it is like a high of 66 to 68 today and the leaves are finally changing and it is just like my peak weather my peak time outside and i am loving it i just feel like fall thrifting once again this week and that's what we're going to be doing so today is actually monday that i'm filming this and that means that i'm going to the bins today so we're going to start off with a little bit of bins thrift with me. Of course, I'm not gonna show you guys everything I'm actually picking up because there will be a bins haul going up at the end of the week, but I will definitely show you guys some of the stuff that I had to skip or some of the like the heartbreakers, like the things that are shrunken or have big really bad holes or something because that seems to happen every time we're here. Or if I find freaking singular shoes, that's like the most painful. Today is mainly a bins day, but then tomorrow on Tuesday, when you actually will be seeing this video, I am going to go to a couple Goodwills, like regular Goodwills. I'm thinking that I'm gonna go back to that one that I said was by Mall of America, where we had a ton of luck last time we did this, because like I said, we had a ton of luck. I found so many good things there, and that is definitely one of my favorite standalone kind of on the racks Goodwills. And then I'm kind of just gonna go where the thrifty winds blow because I don't really know where else. I kind of want to go to ones that I haven't been to yet for a couple weeks just because I, our Goodwills don't feel, I don't feel like they like rotate out inventory super, super fast. So I don't really like to go to the same ones like every single week or anything. I definitely want to do the Goodwills tomorrow because tomorrow is when we have like a half off color at all of our Goodwills. I haven't checked what color it is yet, but I'll have to do that before we head out the door. That is kind of what the week is looking like for thrifting. It is so nice to be like finally almost like, I want to say like knee deep into fall, but like shin deep. It was just hot like a week ago. So like shin deep into fall, but it is like suddenly all the colors change. So actually once I kind of like stop babbling here, I'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys kind of a look at my very beautiful drive to the bins. I always, <laughs> I'm, I'm obsessed with the drive to the bins that we get. It is like so gorgeous. I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. I hope that you are finding some good fall pieces or selling some really good fall stuff or buying some good fall stuff for yourself. Speaking of, I have no reason to talk about this and it has nothing to do with anything that this video entails, but I just have to tell someone. I have dreamt, and a lot of you probably know this at this point, but I have dreamt of buying a leather trench coat because I am like obsessed with leather jackets and leather coats. You guys know this about me at this point. That's why I can't skip them when they're in the bins ever, but I'm obsessed with leather jackets and I've always wanted like a longer belted, double-breasted black leather trench coat. It's a very, very specific style. I don't want it patent. I don't want it croc embossed. I don't want it to be faux leather. Real leather, double-breasted, black, and longer. I have hunted and hunted and hunted, guys. Like, I've looked everywhere. I even look at like luxury and bougie ones and I'm like, oh, I'll just like save or hope that they come down in price wherever I find them. So I've looked at Ukes, I've looked at Real Real, I've looked at Poshmark, eBay. Like, I've looked everywhere for years. Like, I kid you not, like, I think the past three falls, at least the past three, I've wanted this. And I finally, finally, finally found one. I think like last Tuesday we were at like our date night and I was just, I think once we were done eating, I was kind of just like scrolling my phone, scrolling through Posh and somebody had a Wilson's leather vintage 90s double-breasted black trench coat with the belt that is like 58 inches long, perfect, perfect length. And I bought it without a freaking question, blink of an eye, anything. I was like, 
purchase. And so that has shipped now and I have never, I don't, I've, I'm also still ill, sorry. I don't know if I've ever been so excited for a piece of clothing. I, uh, this is what dreams are made of guys. Like I am so excited. I think, does that come tomorrow? Does that come on Tuesday? Now that I've talked about it, maybe at the end I'll have to show you guys if it comes tomorrow. I know that has nothing to do with any of this, but I mean, we're talking about fall clothes. So I guess we'll say that that's why, but oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the bins now. I'm sorry for babbling about my trench coat, but I'm gonna head to the bins. I'm gonna show you guys when we get there. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping today and then we're gonna do some more shopping tomorrow. So let's go to the bins. Basically every time that I find something linen by a brand that I don't recognize, I assume that it's going to be Lag and Look and I look it up. Sure enough, the comps on this brand look quite promising, so I'll definitely be grabbing these shorts. Something like this is something that I would have sold myself back in the day, but nowadays I still pick this up to bring to consignment. It's just like a free people waffle thermal, and yeah, nowadays they just don't do as well. Out comes a new rotation. I haven't found too much yet, so I'm hoping that this one has something. Looks full at least. They did a hard goods rotation and somebody donated a tub of literally just Halloween decorations so of course I grabbed just the entire tub and walked away with it. I don't think I'm going to really be keeping anything in this but I do consign some Halloween stuff at my local consignment store. The shoe rotation had a lot of ties as you can see here and I grabbed a lot of ties so I'm going to look through all these and see if there's anything good. After looking through what feels like 200 ties, I actually did find quite a few decent ones, so I'm gonna give some of these a try, like a YSL tie, and I'm gonna Jill Dezenya tie, and even a Ferragamo tie. It was definitely worth looking through, so I'm happy I grabbed them all. This brand can be worth picking up, it's called Revice, but these are not in good shape. The bottom is totally ruined on them, so I will not be getting them. Well, happy actual Tuesday, everybody. It is now Tuesday for me, as well as you, if you're watching this on the day that it came out. Um, so I am just leaving the Mall of America. I had some errands to run in there, and I'm gonna be heading to that same Goodwill that is super close to Mall of America, the one that we had such good luck at about two or three weeks ago when we went fall thrifting together, maybe like three weeks at this point. So we like went through the coats. If you weren't here for it, we went through the coats and jackets and literally it was like, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. We found like St. John, Aritzia Babaton coat. We found like a bunch of stuff. It was kind of crazy. Like it was better than I even expected that store to be, even though I do usually like that store. We're gonna go there today just because of how much luck we had last time. And then I think after we're gonna stop at one that I haven't been to in a super long time. It's just in a city that I don't get too much. It's kind of like East of the Twin Cities, whereas like if anything, I usually go west. So that's the plans for the day. If we don't find like almost anything at either, I do have one more Goodwill in mind that we may possibly go to, but I still don't know what the half off color is of the day. But at the same time, all the Goodwills have signs for it. So I'll just look when I get there. But yeah, so we're gonna go start our thrifting, shall we? Thank you. 
it looks like this week's color is yellow so I'll be keeping that in mind while I am shopping and the first section that I was going into was the coats and jackets it looked a little sparse so I'm wondering if not a ton of new jackets have been added since I was here last first up I found this Zara jacket they had a lot of Zara last time so I'm kind of not surprised this one was 11 which is what they priced a lot of them at last time and also the Barbie craze is kind of over so I don't think I'm gonna be getting this oh um is that Ryan next to me? No, it's just the exact same comfy that he wears almost 24-7. I'm leaving the coat section with an empty cart, but a heart full of hope that I will find something in the next section over, which is the blazers. The blazers didn't turn out to have anything, but I went on to the leggings, and first up I found these Athleta leggings. They are very nice, but I'm not going to pay $11 for them. If they were half off, I guess I would have considered them, and this is really painful to skip, but these figs are only half off of 7 which is super cheap, but figs just do so horribly that I will not be getting them. I put them in my cart to look them up, but they ended up not being worth it, just in case you were wondering. These Lulu pants would probably be a great pickup a couple years back for half off of 15, but I will definitely not be getting them in the year 2024. So I left the leggings with an empty cart and kind of an empty heart at this point, but I moved on to the jeans, so we'll see if the jeans have something good. They have a lot of jeans here. Super heartbreaking. I found this pair of mother jeans, so they were skinny, not a huge loss in the end, but they were high rise and really cute. They did have some wrinkles to the spandex though, and they were 20, so it was a double whammy, a double no, definitely not getting these. Finally something I'm actually going to be buying. I found these really really cute super wide leg super soft denim jeans and they are by Point Sur which is J. Crew. They're size 26 but they're almost like trouser jeans and they're half off of 11. It is a steal and I am super excited to find these. I then found a lot more jeans, as you can see, so let's try to go through these together one at a time. The first pair is this half off of 15 pair of Reg and Bones. They are high rise cigarette jeans, which cigarette usually means slim or skinny, so I definitely won't be getting them because of that style, but they were pretty cute. Then I noticed there's a huge rip in the back, so yeah, definitely not getting those. Next up was another pair of Point Sur J. Crew. These were 20 but half off, and I still would question them for 10, but they were new with tags, and they were really cute style, so I definitely will be getting these for 10. I love that they're new with tags. Next up, we had a pair of Driftwood jeans. These were the Audrey High Rise, and shockingly, there was no embroidery or anything interesting to them. They also had kind of a stained knee, so I won't be getting them for nine. If they were a little more interesting, I would have got them and just tried to clean them up, but I'm not gonna get ones that are plain like this. These Lucky Brand jeans caught my attention, of course, because of the skulls on them. They are skinny and mid-rise, so I definitely won't be getting them, but I just wanted to show you guys them. Then there was this other pair of Driftwood jeans. These were also $9. These were the older label, and these did have some floral embroidery, but I kind of didn't like the style of them, so I didn't get these either. The next pair of jeans from our pile was another pair of J. Crew jeans. These were from the outlet and they were the relaxed boyfriend style. They were quite cute and they actually were from 2023 and they were half off of 11 so I considered them for quite a while but I just don't think I want to pay that much for outlet jeans so I did pass on them. I also found these a Goldie jeans. I don't find a Goldie almost ever. I know that these are just kind of a standard, regular style of them. They're $9 though, so I'm definitely gonna pick these up. I'm sure they're at Anthro or something like that, and a Goldie has had decent luck for me, so I'll give them a shot. Next up, we had the most heartbreaking of all, another pair of mother jeans, which also this glittery tag was kind of a lot, but these were half off of nine, which is dirt cheap, but these are in dirt condition. They are super skinny, they are a weird thin denim, and they are really, really spandex waving out. It is crazy how bad a shape these are in, heartbreaking. 
Next from our pile of denim is a, another pair of dark jeans. These were AG and they were a really cute style. They were the high slim straight. They were in a dark wash, like I said, which is super trendy right now. And they were new with tags and they were Japanese denim. But I don't want to pay $20 for them. I wish those were half off. Then we had a pair of gray denim. These were Athleta. They were a tall style, and honestly, Athleta jeans do do quite good for me. They were half off of 15, and I don't want to pay that much for these, but at the bin, or even cheaper, I would get them. Then some Pilcrow jeans. These were half off of 9, and these were a bit older. They were skinny, and they had this weird kind of patch detail at the ankle, so I'm not going to get them. Then, last but not least, some Everlane jeans for 9. They were skinny though, so I won't be getting them, but they did catch my attention. They had a new rack coming out, so of course I had to look through it, and there were a couple things that caught my attention, like this Rana Jill skirt, but it is a little basic, so I won't pay their price for it, but Rana Jill is of course Anthro, and it's a pretty expensive Anthro brand too. This brand was called Itchy? or Ichi. It felt like a wool skirt. It looked like the retail on this brand could be expensive, but I don't think I want to try it when it's $11. This Madewell was such a cute style, but it was in pretty bad shape, and it would seem to definitely shrunk, so again, I'm not going to pay their price. And Hutch is another really good Anthro brand, but this is like the most boring Hutch piece I've ever seen. Also, it's in not that good a shape, so I'll be skipping this too. So then I decided to go through the pants since the jeans had some good pieces in it, and again the first thing to catch my attention was an Everlane label. These were another pair that I won't be getting though, they're just kind of a slim trouser. These corduroy pants caught my attention because of the big eyes on them, and I had no idea what the label is, but apparently it's a brand called Crooked, and it's just sold at Zoomies, so don't pay attention to these if you see them in the future. I was kind of hoping that these would be worthwhile. There's some cargo pants by Spanx, and as we know, Spanx are not that good anymore, and sure enough, these are not good or worth picking up either. Next up, I found these Pilcro pants, and these are quite cute. They're kind of a cargo style. They're also the new Pilcro label, so I'll pay half of 15 for these. I like the green color, too. More green pants. These are once again Anthro. These are Saturday, Sunday, and normally I wouldn't pick up a style like this, but because of the color and because of the dirt cheap price at $3.50, I'll get these. I was really hoping that these page pants would be anthro. They were a flared corduroy pants, but unfortunately they weren't, so I'm not going to pay $11 for some page page versus anthro page. <laughs> I had recently had these Sanctuary Anthro cargo pants. They're linen and camo, and they're quite nice, but they did terribly for me, so I'm not falling for that again. Also, these Hudson pants, I was once again hoping were Anthro. They were a velvet bootcut pant, but they were not, and actually the model pictures were really bad, so I'm not getting those either. I quickly swung by the men's jeans and I found these Moosey Vintage jeans. I have never tried this brand, but I know how high the retail is. I also really like the style of these, and they're only $9, so I'm gonna give these a shot. I have a feeling they're female jeans, but I didn't check, so I'll have to check later. Last, of course, I had to check the men's coats and jackets, and I really liked this shirt jacket. It had a really cool print to the front, and it was just vintage, but I didn't pick it up. I'd probably get that at the bins, though. And then they did have this Zara Man faux leather moto jacket, but not something I'm interested in. And this faux suede men's bomber. If it was half off, I'd maybe consider it, but I definitely won't pay 15 Okay, guys. Ugh. Got my tote of stuff, and we're gonna head off to the next Goodwill now. I think I'm just gonna quickly look at the pants and jeans and coats at that one as well. I'm kind of unfortunately at a time crunch, especially because I gotta get this video actually edited for you guys today. So yeah, I'm gonna try to make this next stop a little quicker, but we shall see, maybe it'll be amazing.
Not sure if this is a new rack or a rack of things that need to go back out, but it was right by the door, so I checked it. There wasn't really anything on it that caught my attention, but I just had to check. I moved on to the make your own Halloween costume section because as we've said there have been some gems in here in past years but I wasn't really seeing too much. It seems like they have a lot more just pieces of actual costumes this year versus kind of funkier more fun clothing pieces. Alright, except this is the cutest homemade kids costume I've ever seen. If I had a child, I would be buying this for them. Look at that vintage print. It is so stinking cute. I saw this bag at the end of the shoe section. It's a really nice Radley bag. It's not in the best shape, and they did price it at 25, but I really like the style of it. This fossil was also pretty cute, but I don't have too much luck with fossil anymore. Then I checked out the blazers, and the blazers had nothing, unfortunately. So I moved on to the pants and jeans once again. I had recently found these BDG Urban Outfitters pants. I listed them myself because I thought they were cute, but they weren't doing too well, so I have consigned them at this point. These Babaton pants caught my attention, and they were half off of nine, which is a pretty good price, but they were a jogger style, which just doesn't do too well anymore, so I didn't grab them. This velvet Graham and Spencer was so freaking cute. It was kind of like a puffy jacket, but it had these weird sunspots to it, so I couldn't get it. Also, the tag was gone, but I would have asked if it didn't have the sunspots. What is this, a knockoff of BDG or something? Wow, now these Desigal pants are maximalism. Holy buckets. And if you didn't think the print was enough, there's also a glittery sequiny little strap on the back too. This was a really cute sweater that caught my attention. It's a Garnet Hill sweater. I haven't found Garnet Hill in a while, but I won't be paying $11 for this. I'd love to find something like this in the bins. That's just too high of a price for this. These boots caught my attention because they just look like nice leather, and they were Madewell boots, but as you saw on the bottom, I believe there was a crack in the sole, and Goodwill had them priced at 20 so lots of reasons to not grab these. On my way out, I checked the home stuff, and there was this Department 56 Dracula's Castle, which I kind of loved, and it was $20, which is pretty high, though they do go for a lot more online, but also it had no light in it, and there was a big chip on the side. Alright guys, that was kind of a flop of a Goodwill. I did look through the jeans kind of quickly, but I still looked through them. And I looked through the coats, again, a little quickly, but I still definitely like saw everything and there was nothing, nothing even worth showing. So that was kind of a bummer, but I hope you guys had fun thrifting with me today and yesterday. Now, if you were someone that actually cared and wanted to see the leather trench coat, it has a delay in shipment. So I think I'm actually going to show you guys my leather trench at the end of the haul on Thursday so if you actually are interested in seeing it which I'm sure is like nobody but I will be showing you guys on Thursday just because it's not gonna get it's still in New York so it still says it's coming today but it's in New York and it's also not on the way it like arrived at the New York post office so I'm just like I mean, it's it's not gonna come today, so. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your Tuesday night or Wednesday day, if you're watching this the next day. And let me know if you guys enjoyed thrifting with me again out at the normal on the racks Goodwills. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Thursday for a bins haul. Goodbye. Ooh.